Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video will be doing a deep dive into a company called Iguana Technologies Incorporated. Ticker symbol is EGTYF. Why this company was a real standout for me, firstly, is because of the sector that it's in, and it's in the green energy space. Uh, what Iguana does is they manufacture and sell their own energy storage systems, so pretty much solar batteries for use in residential and commercial applications. Um, we all know that companies that position themselves successfully within the green energy space with the transition towards um, a more sustainable future for the planet will see exponential growth, which is a positive for Iguana. So we all know about Biden's policies, um, the making of Biden's super fast push for clean electricity, which directly links to Iguana's products. Uh, more news is that BlackRock, which is the world's biggest asset manager with $7 trillion worth of assets, um, one of their managers state that BlackRock makes climate change central to its investment strategy for 2021. Okay, back at the chart here now, we can see that Iguana has been trading steadily upwards over the past year. Um, it's actually down about 17, 18% from its all time high. So for me, when taking a position, wouldn't be chasing a stock and buying at the all time high up here. You would be waiting for the price to retrace back down to one of the moving averages. Uh, the green line is the 21 day moving average, which is where Iguana is trading at, at about 16 and a half cents. So it's a penny stock still, and it's relatively under the radar. If you have a look on stock twids, there's only three watches, me being one of them. So we'll see how that grows in the coming weeks and months as it gets more attention, hopefully. Okay, so Iguana market cap is 38 million. Uh, year to date returns for investors has been 248%. So not bad at all for investors. And important to note here, we can see that there's one Wall Street analyst rating. And they rate the company as a buy. So it's not often you get Wall Street um, analyzing any of these penny stock companies, let alone giving it a buy rating. So I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. So the company here on their website, link to all this stuff will be in the description for you guys to, to delve a bit deeper. These are the products that they offer. Uh, three different systems. Our lineup of energy storage systems for residential and commercial, like we said, blah, blah, blah. All the systems include their proprietary power control. So that's their technology that they've painted it, which is um, the first in class technology. It's really, really good stuff. You can read up on it further. And they've paired up with LG Chem to help produce their batteries. LG Chem being one of the biggest battery makers in the world, um, which is not a bad partnership off the bat. Um, so these battery systems or the storage systems would be really high quality. Important to note, recently they have launched a cobalt free um, energy storage system range. And why is that important? Well, firstly, I'm not a battery scientist, but I googled it and Science Daily states that the new cobalt free lithium battery actually reduces the cost of manufacturing without sacrificing performance. So what does that mean for Iguana? You would imagine that by cutting down the cost of manufacturing for the batteries, we make the systems cheaper and um, translating to more profits for the company. So there's several PowerPoint presentations. Links will be in the description. You guys can dive a bit deeper into all of these details, but we'll touch on some of it. So their global distribution all around the world, 1,300 dealers um, in the United States, Europe, Australia, and Japan. What is of significance here is their partnerships with Q-Cells and their partnership with the Tochu, which are absolutely massive. And we'll delve into those um, in a sec. You can see their products here. Take note of this blue um, system here, which has got the Q-Cells label on it, because that's really important. Financials are year-to-date 2019, 2.6 mil. Uh, year-to-date so, so far in 2020, 6.6 .6 million. 
and growing. And what they state is that that revenue is up 200% in the last year. And they've got a record backlog of orders equaling $23 million. Um, so they're pumping those orders out now and into 2021. They're also targeting uh, to be a profitable company in 2021. So they've set up um, all of their supply chains, manufacturers, uh, distribution um, to scale globally to meet uh, the demand and to target profitability. So they've received investments from several institutions recently. This one uh, news came out November 17, $1.5 million. Back in October, they received, um, well, they announced a $1 million brokered private placement. You guys can read into this a bit more. I think why the stock's hovering around 15 cents is because these can convert um, at a price of 15 cents per common share. So providing us with a, a buy-in price that's similar to this investment firm. This is that huge first catalyst that I want to talk about. It's their partnership with QCells. So QCells um, and Iguana announce a European exclusive agreement for the Enduro home storage system. So QCells searched the market for an AC couple solution that could be incorporated into their Q Home package. They state, we believe that the Iguana Enduro is the product that best exemplifies our commitment to best in class products, quality and reliability for their consumers. So why does this even matter uh, for Iguana? Well, firstly, Q Cells is the leading, they've got the market share in the US for residential and com commercial solar markets. They've also got market leadership in Europe. So you guys can Google this to get more deets, but they're the market leaders uh, in solar in the US and Europe. So what they're actually doing is they're buying their uh, energy storage systems from, from Iguana and incorporating that into their Q Home product offering. So you would imagine that that would translate to some significant revenue and sales for Iguana. What else have we got here? Oh, yep. Yeah. Next big catalyst is their partnership with the Tochu. So, Tochu is another behemoth of a company, Fortune 500, like uh, Hanwha Q sells billions and billions in revenue. And not only has Tochu invested in the company, I think this might be their third investment in recent years, but um, Itochu and Iguana formed a strategic partnership. Two companies have in, in, been engaged in joint marketing. They've agreed to form capital ties for the purpose of expanding this business into North America, Australia, and Europe, where the market for energy storage systems is expected to grow. Also, um, in recent news, and you guys can look it up, is a Tochu has agreed to be a supplier um, for some of the products that um, Iguana needs for, for their systems. So having such a beast of a company helping supply um, some of the, the, the products they need to manufacture their systems um, is, is a big thing as well. And you'll see um, the CEO, Justin Holland, on this interview, which came out a few days ago, and he touches on a lot of information in here, which you guys can have a look at. Firstly, stating that Itochu has a massive plan and their aim in the coming years in the coming years is to sell about 80,000 of these units around the world, um, which equates to a lot of revenue moving forward for Iguana. Um, the CEO also touches on how they've got manufacturing plants set up in the US, in Europe and in Australia, and also I think Japan, um, how they're keeping ahead of the latest um, battery chemistry, including solid state batteries, um, how their systems incorporate with um, some AI technology for, for their software, for distributed grids. And there's a lot of cool stuff on here. It goes for about an hour and a half. So just have a, have a look in your own time at that. 
So a company that it closely relates to would be, that's on the stock market at the moment, is a company called SunPower. SunPower actually offer solar panels and energy storage systems. It's a bit of a beast of a company. Um, their stock has been trading upwards similar to Iguanas for the past year. It's only got a, a hold rating from 15 analysts. It's provided um, investors 491% return on investment, which is amazing over the past year. Market cap is $4 billion, so it's 100 times bigger than uh, Iguana. So with all the catalysts, positive catalysts for Iguana moving forward, uh, the partnerships with the Tochu and Q-Cells, you would imagine that this will equate to uh, a lot more revenue and um, will push the stock price higher. Another company that it's Iguana is similar to is Solar, oh, the stock ticker symbol SIRC. Internet's not working here yet. Here we go. Solar Integrated Roofing Court, which is another penny stock that I like. Um, it's absolutely pumped recently, so I'd be looking at a buy-in price for this a little bit lower. Market cap similar. Revenues are growing. Yeah, uh, investment has been 888% for the past year. I think these guys don't produce their own products, but actually install them um, and have aggressively been acquiring companies to, to gain market share in the US. So, all of these catalysts um, made this a buy for me. I hope you guys get something out of this video. Give it a like, leave it in the comments if you want to discuss anything else about the company or any other solar or green energy uh, stocks that you'd be looking at or that you've bought in recently. And thanks so much for watching, guys.